You need anything else? Nope. Stop trying to tell me I'm a freedom plant eater. Wake up and smell the bacon. Carnivores? Oh, give me a break, man. We're cannibals. Don't believe me. You think a wiser son of a bitch wasting my time? I'm gonna tell you a story, man. Bedtime story. A story so old it makes the Bible look new. Never 
mind about it. Never mind. Just straighten up and get your ass down here. Come on, Trish. Trish. Freud was like, it all comes down to sex. Who's getting who isn't? You can make the best as fuck on You gotta be tired. Well, some man can't live on bread alone, must have known about the DNA. You know, you go too easy on him. He'll eat you up and spit you out. No difference. Sure. I'd screw your brains out first. yourself. Just don't lose that cash or you're gonna die. Damn painters.
Yeah. Hey, Peg. What you doing up this early? Yeah, yeah. Just let me get some sleep first. <laughs> Check my ass. Okay. Someone should get rid of those things. Leave them alone, man. They're cute. Get your move. <clears throat> well, what's your problem, boy? What? Feeling sorry for yourself? Life sucks. <laughs> Four and a half years to get a business degree. And look where I am. I'm at a titty club. That would have been real proud, man. At least you got a roof over your head. Must be weird living here. No, I got a roof over my head. Why does life have to be so expensive, man? Oh, for the love of God, man, shut up. I mean, guess you've got a job. I never should have walked out of that teaching job. I'll probably have to end up helping out at this church forever just so I can eat. But you know what? What? Oh, Sage. I, I believe I'm serving a higher power. God saved me for something big, man. I just know it. I just met that bitch. What do you know about this? What? This, this. It's a phone message. Brilliant. Did you take it? It was on the counter when I came in. I gotta know who this dipshit is. You want to make five grand easy? All you got to do is follow her around. Uh, I'll give you my camera. You want pictures? Find out who she's slumming with. You'll never make an easier buck. Uh. Hey, Joe. Huh? Let me think about it. Yeah, yeah. Pictures? I think I got some stashed under the mattress. Did Ray give you all the negatives? Yeah. 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 
You all right, man? You okay? Hey, did I tell you to get married? Just get out. My money. Love each raw and spits up bones. God, I hate this stuff. Where's Kat? Just said she called. Forms. She can get them when she comes in. She ain't coming in. She better have a damn good reason. She does. She got stabbed. What? What are you deaf or something? She needs workman's comp form. What the hell for? Danielle had a switchblade on stage last night. She stabbed Kathy. Where did she hide? Never mind. Did I give you a good show? At least you got my good side. <clears throat> Joe was a midway champion in college. And you thought it was just a poor, hapless son of a bitch with a whore for a wife. Yeah. Yeah. And this was just a love tap. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was gonna get physical and if I Give it a rest. You knew what you were doing. Hey, fuck you, lady! You don't know me! I know you well enough. What, what are you gonna do? Shoot me? Open it. Divorce court. Bank account is Joe's most vulnerable spot. I should know, right? My husband keeps two sets of books hidden in his study. One for himself, one for the auditor. My guess is he'll be very generous when my lawyer waves it around under his nose. How much did he pay you? 8K. Count that. It's five grand. I'll give you the other five when I get the photos of the books. Maybe I'll even throw in a little bonus. Where's Joe gonna be? Don't worry. I'll keep him busy. How? Oh. I have my ways. Uh, uh, 
father would roll over in his grave, you know? I don't want to hurt my You'd like to come to church with us this morning? is to staying alive it's feeding on everyone else you feed on yourself and you're dead
just what the lawyer ordered. Hope you don't mind hundreds. I want your goddamn whore. What? <sighs> Nothing. Liar. So, who's Sally? Who? You called out her name the last time I saw you. I don't know. Lying again. That's cool. We all have our secrets. Right? Credit card numbers, too? Get off my ass! Yeah, well, guess what, shithead? She couldn't tell you about the security camera. Yeah, that's right. I should call the cops. I should call the IRS. I made extra prints, Joe. You're bluffing! Am I? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Come here. Hey, come on. Come on, let's go. So, you hungry? We're going anywhere with you, you crazy son of a bitch. Filing for divorce, isn't she? Yeah, she'll say cool D, trying to hang me with the photos. Did you sleep with her? She wasn't that good. Oh man, you are some piece of work. You can't let her do it, man. Not after all the time I spent building up that bar. My bar. Sticking my money into that joint for one thing after another. She's not taking that away from me. So I guess it's time to stand up and get like a real man and beat the shit out of her some more? Meg's been dicked if the bitch won't stop till she gets a pound of flesh and then some. I know. She's gonna go. So, still hungry?
Hello, Uncle Merv. How are you doing, Uncle Merv? Mmm, this is so bad for you, Uncle Merv. Hey, Merv. So, how is life treating you in the city? I don't know how you're doing with all the crime and the taxes. You know, Zany and I know a lot of people that are moving up here. Excuse me. In a few minutes, dear. Did you hear that ever so nice, sweet little Sally Brown got married? Honeymooning in Barbados. Why don't you get Aunt Rose a drink? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Weren't you engaged to Sally Brown once upon a time? Yes or no? Admit it. No, I never heard of her. Still open? I'll do it. Yeah. Fuck you too.
back. Meg? Candy, help me out. Please. Can't you sleep?
Are you hungry? Got any beer? <laughs> beer for breakfast? That's sick. Yeah, I know. Don't tell me. You saw the Lord last night and you're coming to get baptized. Boy, you're right. Man, I'm in deep shit. Hey, watch your mouth in here. Want some breakfast? It's a squirrel. I'm not a scavenger. It's the way of the world. Sooner or later, you're just another morsel in the food chain. You know, <clears throat> I gave you that money so you could buy some decent food. Now, what the hell did you do with it? I'm saving it for a rainy day. You never know when it might come in handy. I might have to get you a lawyer. I didn't do it, Peg. I couldn't. You know, that's your problem, boy. It's predators and prey. The rich go hunting us down, and they eat our hearts out because they don't have one. What am I going to do? going to find out who killed her. Shit, I gotta go. You just got here. I'm going nowhere if the cops can hold my pictures.
Just give us a second with them. Aren't you going to read me my rights, Miranda? You in a hurry? Your prints are all over the Adelaide mansion. So? 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 So, we found your cigarette butts there, too. You used a 357 Magnum to kill Margaret Adelaide. I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about first degree murder, premeditated homicide, not to mention breaking and entering. I'm talking about you pumping four rounds into Margaret Adderley while she was asleep. Who? Her boss's wife. I never saw her. Uh, we got a half a dozen officers to say you have. Well, they were wrong. You were in Fox Chapel last night. Wrong. And you murdered Margaret Adderley. Wrong. Cameron and I were very impressed with your photographic skills. You were a very busy boy. Is it Meg? Meg, huh? <laughs> Ellie gave us those pictures. And Ray told us he developed them for you. That's right, Oswald. You ain't so bright after all. Nice work. Good contrast. Why, you can read. Every detail in these books. Mr. Adley's books. Yes, Mr. Adley's books. Now, how did you happen to photograph his books, one might ask? Let's see. We know you were sleeping with the old lady. Was she good? <laughs> we know you can't pay your rent on time. Could it be, um, maybe you tried to blackmail her? Mrs. Allen took a real beating. Take a look at what you did to her. Take a very good look. No one deserves to get what that woman got. Better think about what you did. The story's gonna fry your balls and have them for breakfast.
You guys hungry? I'm making some bullseyes. What do you want on them? I don't care. As long as it's not tobacco. Ah, yank me. Idiot. That's just probably limping down the street. Or maybe he got a cab. Flash! Let's go! I'll be back in a flash. Get up! It's okay. I guess I deserve that. I was worried about you. I was worried about you. Yeah.
Anyone hungry? <laughs> he set me up. But why? No idea. You ever watch those National Geographic? Survival of the fittest. Nature's a bitch. <laughs> Why should we be any different? Pay attention, boy. You gotta figure Joe's gonna be somewhere down the line. Money. Money's always the reason. Joe's wife's got a lot. She also took him in a drink because she took it herself. And he shot her. Obviously. But why? What if she was going to divorce him? Check. <laughs> so is this redhead you screwed anyway? She was having a tour of affair with her. And, and the found out was going to cut him loose. That's probably it. Pay attention, boy. Think harder. Nice of you to find this show. Better get your little ass moving. You know how Joe doesn't like it if you're late. Shut up, Harley. Why don't you go take another vacation? <laughs> Give it up for Candy, Melissa, and Harley.
trying to back out of our little agreement now, would you? Our agreement stands! As long as we're both alive! And I'm staying alive. Yeah? Well, you're getting nothing till I sign those papers! You ain't going nowhere without me! You remember that! Yeah, yeah, yeah! This bar's half mine! Flush that crap down the toilet! It's making you crazy! Crazy? Crazy enough to find another partner? Merv knows how to do the books, doesn't he? Oh, Merv, 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 Merv. I'm gonna get that fuck. Thinks he's so smart. Mr. College graduate. He's smarter than the cops. Oh, shut up. And he's pretty good in bed, too. Be a real shame to have to bury him. When I bury you, you'll see how funny it is. Lighten up, puppy toes. In two days, this place will be yours. Nah. And that should make your little tail wag.
Can't you give a guy a break? I've just been to my wife's funeral, for Christ's sake. <clears throat> Time is of the essence, sir. You should have some respect for the dead. It's a nice place your wife's got here. Or is it yours now? But am I a suspect? <laughs> you bozos, let my wife's murderer slip away, then you've got the nerve to come in here and Calm accuse down, me? Calm down. We're just following procedure. Yeah, your procedure sucks. Same said for death and divorce, huh? Get the fuck out! Ooh. Keep in touch now, you hear? Let us know if you see this guy around. Come on. Come on! Checked it out, and uh, everything else seems to be okay. So, if you have any problems or anything else, just give me a call. All right? Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Ray. What's shaking? Don't give me no trouble now, all right? What, have I ever given you trouble? <laughs> when you know. I don't need no heat in here. Joe sent me in to pick up. Got a problem with that? I thought the cops were looking for you. Oh, God, did they come to you? What a screw up. They, they had me mistaken for somebody else. Thank God they cleared it up. Come on. Wait, wait, wait! Hmm? Dylan. Dylan's a man. Dylan? Yeah, I, I forgot. What he wanted. Where the hell are you? Guess what? Harley's living with Joe. What the hell? He's got an apartment. I followed her. What are you doing following? And you should have heard them fighting last night.
going to get hurt. Maybe I'm starved for some, some excitement. Oh, right. A bored stripper. Right. A bored stripper. Fights off guys all night. Who works double shifts and gets paid shit. Is that good enough for you? So you figure they were lovers, and they had to take Joe's wife out of the picture. Yeah, but why didn't he just ditch her? Ew, you kidding? I used to work with her. At Joe's club? At Dylan's. I forget her name. No, her name was... Okay, who is Dylan? Dylan Enterprises. It's a talent agency. You used to work for them? Yeah. No, maybe he's bi. <laughs> you think you want to run a few deals off the side? You might want to ice your account, right? Why? He's got plenty of cash. Yes, but that cash was really hers. Yeah? He'd come out sitting pretty good with her out of the way. That's right. He would. Come with me, quick! What? The police are outside! Get, get your asses moving! Come on! We got a warrant to search the place. <laughs> you can't search a church. Excuse me, I've got a lot of sense to catch up with. I bet. <laughs> Do an extra good job, Father. By the grace of God, I will. something about the bar being half hers. Doesn't Joe own the bar? I guess. You guess? But you don't know. I told you. Okay, what else? I don't remember. Come on, Candy, you were there. Christ, man, leave her alone. Think hard. This could save my ass. I don't know. 
Joe said something about signing some papers. You think Meg owns the bar? Check with the Register of Deeds. So maybe you killed Meg to get the bar. You know those things will kill you. Shit, I need caffeine. I'll get your caffeine. Hey, what? I got a question. Yeah, so what else is new? Say you were given one chance. Granted the proverbial three wishes. No, oh, Christ. Now, now say you could track down the guy who hurt you and make him hurt more than you do. What would you do? None of that's the most ridiculous question anyone's ever asked me, man. And? I'd hunt him down. I'd gut him out with a rusty knife and I'd suck his bones dry. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. No coffee for you, lady? It hurts my ulcer. Merv? How have you been? How have I been? He's pretending he's an echo. Hi, I'm Candy. I'm Sally. This thing. I work at the club with Merv. Oh, what do you do? I'm an exotic dancer. Oh. How nice. So, you're looking well. Uh, you look ten. We took our honeymoon in Bar Barbados. I'm psychic. Well, anyway, it's good to see you. Take care of yourself. Get out of this shithole. Who is she? Jesus, I can hide from every cop in town and look who I run into. Who is she? No one important. Not anymore. That thing ain't never gonna work. Go on, go on, go on out on the terrace. Go on, there's a cool breeze out there now. Go on. I got no right to be jealous.
I wouldn't blame you if you never talked to me again. Look at those lights. Hmm. Spectacular. Yeah, spectacular. Dinner is served. This isn't squirrel, is it? <laughs> I can't believe he eats those things. <laughs> hmm. You should run. We've got a chance. Why? Because I'm a shit. You scare me, Candy. Why would I do that? Because I... Because I like you. How come you never screwed my brains out like you promised? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess after all the guys you do, you're too tired. I don't do guys. I'm a dancer. I'm not like the rest of them girls. I didn't mean it. All I, all I meant was... I know what you meant. No, I just thought... You, you, That's you... what everybody thinks. That's what Joe thought when he bought us from Dylan. Well, I'm not a piece of meat. I didn't say you were. I'm a virgin. Come again? I'm a virgin, okay? I'm a virgin. You're kidding, right? You're not kidding. I'm sorry. I told you I'm a shit. I always was. Joe bought you? Dylan cut some kind of deal with Joe. And all of a sudden, me and Harley are dancing at his bar. Harley worked for Dylan Enterprises? Joe made a deal with them. I was supposed to make better money, too. Only I never seen it. What kind of deal? I don't know. He took Dylan's best dancers. He took a lot of pictures, too. I guess they all got new headshots except me. Except you. Because you wouldn't put out? Maybe. Have, have you ever seen any of these pictures? No. How do you know they're headshots? And how do you know they're not porn? Oh, yeah. Maybe that's how Joe's making his money. Wags his tail tomorrow. What? I remember now. Puppy toes. Joe is signing papers tomorrow. He gets the bar. No, I guess what he deserves. I'm going to your house tonight! 
I need you at the club. I'm watching you sign those papers. Give me that much. I've given you enough. Uh, yeah, right. This dump? Big deal. You can go live on the street. I need you at the club. It's just that I think we should stay under cover till this thing is over. Okay? We don't want the cops getting the wrong idea. Know if you would mind. Have you been out in the sun? I mean, your face is all red. No. Yeah. I'm trying to get a little color. Look healthier. Looks good. Yeah? yeah? You're looking real good these days. You're in love. Who would I be in love with? I was wondering, can I take Patty's Tuesday and Friday shifts next week? She's going to be out of town. I thought you had that bachelor party with Dina. Carrie said she'd take it, no problem. Besides, I don't get into that girl-girl stuff. <laughs> no uh, blowjobs in the back room either? <laughs> mm. I don't blame you. I've seen some of those college kids. Asked me to call about his meeting with Mr. Quill today at three. No, no, no. He would like to. Um, he'd like to push it up to four, so his associate, Mr. Diller, could be there to witness the signing. Huh? Well, you have to speak up. I'm in a paper. There's a lot of fucking trucks. Trucks. Traffic. Yes. Would you please call his home in town to confirm that? Thank you. 
Well, thank you, Virginia. You've been most helpful. Come here in so early. Special occasion? Not really. Just killing time. Gotta go. I'll walk you out. Give you a lift? No. I'm waiting for someone. Update? Don't lie to me. Give it away. I know, tit for tat, not the spree. You got it. to me. 
make love to you. You will. I could have been better than Sally. All right, folks, back on the sidewalk. There's an ambulance coming. You looking for Dylan? Why would I be looking for Dylan? Don't give me that shit. You know how to use that. You better believe it. You've been snorting blood again, haven't you? Tell you that shit'll kill you. You, you son of a bitch! Ah, 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 I'll kill you! Ah, 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 ah. Where is he? Ah, 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 you bitch! Where is he, that little weasel? What are you talking about? Where is he? You're not. Are you fucking him too? Do you feel another brain or something? Where's Blur? Hey, you got that class right there, Lord. Go on. What did you do? Fast or catch up in your mind, huh? Did you just, just cut me loose? Did you just set me up and take it all? I wouldn't worry so much about Merv if I were you. It's Dylan you should worry about. Kill me, you won't see a penny from the bar. Right now, I get more pleasure from seeing you dead. That's not my gun. Right? Where'd you get that? My fairy fucking godmother. He's here. What? He's here. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? He's in the house. He set us up. Son of a bitch is playing us up. Give it up. I'll take care of it. Shh. Give it up. Give it here, baby. Shh. Give it up, baby. You should have shot me when you had the chance.
Margaret. I got you to thank for this. Not really. I just wanted to get your prints on the gun that killed Meg. <laughs> got it all wrapped up now. Nice and neat. All with the same trusty weapon. <laughs> you were right, man. <laughs> Love sucks you dry and spits up bones. It's a hell of a feeling, isn't it? Knowing that someone you love will never touch you again. Meg was robbing me blind. I had to shoot her. And Harley... Pain in the ass. Yeah. But you had a little pleasure with your pain, didn't you? I'll show you what pain is. God, she's dead. Hold it right there, mister. Looks like you've been a busy boy again. That bastard broke into my house! <laughs> <laughs> what you got here? Boys downtown should be real happy with what's on that tape. Shut up. I got you, you son of a bitch. That's it. That's all she wrote. The evil prince and princess shot one dove down on the last leg of her flight and went to hell in a handbasket. The brilliant lieutenants, Cameron and Dory, pieced together the wicked scheme and the good king squirreled away enough money to put a down payment on this house. And, having broken their evil spell, our hero, yours truly, fled into the night. Now, I live with my nightmares and hunger pangs, happily ever after. Still want to work here? Hey, Pang! We got ourselves a live one. Well, good. You tell him he can start tonight. But I don't want no bullshit. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> so, 
You got any questions? Yeah. Cool. Cool? You got a problem with that? Just haven't heard that in a while. Sam said to me in the studio, will you play harmonica for me? It can be in the studio.